Hello all, welcome to Ferdinand Tutorials. Now as a farmer, you've been wondering why you feed your fishes at the end, they don't grow as you expected. You feed the fish for up to three months, you feed the fish for four months, five months, they are still in the fingerling, they are still in the juvenile stage. They are not even doing well, even when we are talking about juvenile, they are the least juvenile. So the fish is not doing well and you'll be wondering, what is happening? Is it that I'm not doing well? Is it that I'm not uh, changing the water well? Is it that I'm not feeding them well? So I want to tell you because I've been rearing fish for a long time now and I know what is involved. So, and you've been seeing some of my light fishes and how they behave and how, like the big size, how it is. So, you know, it doesn't take just play. It doesn't take just feeding. There are approaches, there are ways I do these fishes. So I want to tell you, share with you a little about how I feed my fishes. So maybe from there, you can draw your inspiration from there. You can get the knowledge of what feeding fish adequately and effectively looks like. Now, one of the major challenges of most catfish farmers is getting right how to feed appropriately without overfeeding or underfeeding. There is no hard and fast rule on how to feed catfish. Although experts recommend a fish of about 2.5% of the total body weight of the fish per day. In tropical Africa, depending on its age, for instance, a fish of 1 kg will eat around 25 grams of feed per day. However, determining the average size of catfish may not be so easy because a farmer might be required to sample crop in order to ascertain the weight of his fishes weekly before feeding. Now let me give you the steps and procedure on how I feed my fishes from the fry stage of fishes to the adult stage. Are you getting it? Now, now before I feed my fishes, you understand? I ensure that the water is okay for them to consume the fish. You know, one of the problems of uh, a stunted fish or one of the problems that makes fish not to grow is their water, water quality. Now, as a farmer, what you change your water is only once a week or you change it highest, you just change it twi twice by, by forcing. Fish water should be changed twice a day. Don't worry, in my next video about fish, I'll be, I'll be uh, uploading video on how to change water. Like, it's not like how you change your water, how to change fish water effectively. You understand because all these things they help in fish growth so we need to take good consideration of all these things it must be put in place so how i feed my fishes now whenever i check the water it is neat if it's not i will change the water you understand i will change the water in order not to affect their fishing ration i feed my fishes twice a day i feed it in the morning and i feed it in the evening in the morning i make sure i feed my fish immediately 7 a.m i feed my fish in the evening immediately 6 p.m i ensure i feed my fish I do this every day. It is a rationing. You understand? Now these fishes, they have a particular uh, way they consume. They have a particular feed they consume. You understand? Now when I got my fish newly, like during the fry stage, I fed them a foreign fish feed. Now as I go higher, as the feed begin to grow and they are becoming resistant to some certain disease, and I begin to feed them local fishes, local fish feed. You don't start by feeding them local fish feed when they are still small. Because one, they've not acclimatized to the environment. Are you getting what I'm saying? They've not been, uh, they've not adopted to the environment. So you need to give them the foreign feed at that point and make sure that at the beginning, they are very, very healthy. Maintain every form of cleanliness in their pond. Are you getting it? So as they grow, you can now begin to feed them with a local fish feed. So now, whenever I check my pond and it's okay, I get my fish. You understand as you have seen this fish feed now this is my juvenile fish it, it is still in the juvenile stage i do feed them a 4 mm feed for me i feed them 4 mm i feed them 6 mm i interchange it are you getting it now that's how i feed my fish if you look at that fish i'm taking it slow by slow i'm taking it one after the other no forcing you don't rush feed are you getting it you don't force feed you don't pour it wah. you don't pour it continuously without resting no you end up wasting your fish feed that's what we call overfeeding I don't know if you are getting it. So you feed them one after the other. You feed fish one by one. Like you feed it easy, like step by step. You don't pour the whole feed while inside the pond. No, it will lead to feed wastage. Are you getting it? This is what feed wastage. And you know how, how costly feed can be. So you need to save the cost. You need to make sure that the feed eat it or the fish eat it as well. So you need to feed them slowly. You understand? Because this is slowing down process. Even you as a human being, you don't force yourself to eat food. You eat it very, very fast. You slow down to eat food for easy what digestibility so is fish are you getting it so you feed them more slowly to avoid feast waste wastage and to ensure what digestion of feed so that is it there now also remember why feeding this fish i said that we feed we have two mm we have four mm we have six mm we have nine mm depending on the size of these fishes now you don't train a fish for two months and you feed the fish nine mm no 
I have a friend. Uh, he's a fish farm also. He's not. He doesn't. He's not grounded in this. So he called me for consultant. I went to see his pond. Now look at his fish was just three months old, and he has started feeding the fish with nine mm. Now how can such fish grow? No, the fish will remain in a place. You understand? Now you'll be like, why will fish consume it? Fish, they don't have choice because they are hungry. They would force themselves to consume that nine mm. But growth, they are not growing. Are you getting it? Feeding fish of three months with nine mm feed is like giving a baby girl, a, a little baby giving the baby food that an adult eats at some point the baby will try to reject it but as the baby grows he cannot he or she cannot reject it again because he or she doesn't have a choice but he will consume it but no growth because that that is not the, what the body needs at that time i don't know if you are getting it so feeding fish you don't uh, because you want them to grow quickly you begin to feed them an adult fishes no adult fish feed no take them step by step at the beginning of this fish give them two mm let them eat that two mm for a long period of time maybe a month or two months now you change to another mm maybe four mm which is the following part you give them four mm fish this four mm fish might last up to two weeks or three weeks now you go to six mm you feed them you know why we talk about you know why we allow them to why, why you allow fish to be fed uh, four mm and uh, six mm and two mm especially two mm because this two mm contains a large amount of protein and this protein, when we are talking about protein, what is the function of protein? Protein helps in body building. It helps to feed the, it helps to grow the fish quicker. Don't add booster. I'm not in support of booster. Don't boost any fish. So give them feed appropriately. At intervals, feed them their fish feed. Don't go and carry nine mm because you want them to grow. You give a, a feed of three months. You are giving the fish, feeding the fish nine mm feed. No, the fish will not grow. So obey processes. Obey, uh, in, my, in this video, check my outline. I outline uh, the moons and the uh, fish size you give to your uh, fishes. The feed size you give to your fishes. So I outline them. So check my uh, check my uh, description below. You see it. Now this uh, fish feed, you take it one after the other. Feed them according to their sizes. Are you getting it? So that's one of the mistakes some farmers made. They want to, their fish to grow. So the the fish that is up to three months or two or two and a half months, you gotta bring nine and one fish to feed to feed them. No. You are cleaning the fish so that is it for this fish that's how i feed my fish i feed them twice a day i fed them continuously i didn't i don't miss a day because you don't uh, as a fish farmer who wants to grow this is serious business you take it seriously so you must put into consideration their lives you understand so you feed them well take good care of them and you see your fish grow so that is what i do in my fish pond you can see how they are growing you understand if i tell you how many months this fish is you will not believe it but that is it we take good care of them because we are here for a business. We are here for a serious business. So that's what I want you to go. I want you to know too. So know that fish farming is a business. It's not a plaything. You are not there to play. It's your money there. Your money is at stake. So you do not know to waste your money. You do not know to waste uh, your fish's life. Feed them accurately. Feed them according to their sizes. The fish feed. That is, uh, each fish feed has different size of fish to be fed with. So that is it for this tutorial. I'll be seeing you again uh, next Thursday. If you have any question. Do send it through our email at kingsleyfednan34 at gmail.com or you can comment below. We are here to serve you. Also, you can support this uh, tutorial. You can support this YouTube channel in our Patreon. You can be one of our Patreon. The link is below. It's in the description. You can, you understand. You can support us, please. You can support us. Thank you all.